We all fall into the same old habit of going to the same bars and restaurants over and over again, but after a while, this can get boring. We've got you covered whether you're looking for something to spice up your weekend or a unique idea for a date night. But sometimes the best way to change things up is to find a new hidden gem. Here are top 10 secret spots in Boston. However, before we begin our countdown, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. Number 10. Sip in Secrecy, the best Boston speakeasies. During Prohibition, some of Boston's oldest bars may have been run illegally as speakeasies, but many new places have the same feel, tucked away in the back of a restaurant or down an alley. You probably won't run into these places on a night out, but you don't have to be a member of the elite to get in. Check out our list of the best speakeasies in town, where the focus is on a low-key, well-made cocktail menu. Number 9. Pitch a Tent Inside the City Limits, Long Wharf North. If you like to try new things but don't have a car to get you further away, you can camp on one of the four Boston Harbor Islands or you can stay overnight. The islands of Bumpkin, Great, Lovells, and Pedocks are unusual places to set up your tent. Each island has grills, picnic tables, hiking trails, and at least one group camping site. Lovells has its own beach for swimming, and Pedocks has six yurts for people who like to glamp. Number 8. Buy sneakers hidden in the back of a convenience store, Bodega. At first glance, it looks like any other convenience store. It's on a side street off the busy Mass Avenue, and the windows are filled with old bleach bottles and paper towels. Something doesn't seem right though. It could be the kid behind the counter who is too stylish, or it could be that the bottles of detergent look more like decorations than things you can buy. Step in front of the fake Snapple vending machine to open the secret sliding door and find the secret store inside the store. The coolest sneaker shop in Boston has a very modern interior. Number 7. Play video games in the back room at King's Seaport. If you're a gamer, you don't have to go far to play some of the most popular games. At King's Seaport, the Level Up Barcade has its own private area away from the noise of the bowling lanes where you can play both new and well-known old games. The space is open to any age, so it's also a wonderful option for families. Number 6. Reserve a counterside Oma Casa experience behind Shore Leave. The team behind Bar Mezzana and Black Lamb opened a nine-seat, secret sushi restaurant in the back of Shore Leave, a tropical tiki bar. Chef Colin Lynch runs a counterside Oma Casa tasting menu. Number 5. Eat a steak behind a red curtain, Bohe's Place a speakeasy in a steakhouse. In the back room of the cocktail bar Jan and Curly, there is a place where such a magical thing can be found. Only the tiniest of signs points you to the doorway and back, but beyond is a Lilliputian shop house, known as Bogey's Place, doling out classics, caviar tray service, a wedge salad, and surprisingly affordable steak cuts, adorned with the likes of bone marrow and foie grass butter. Number 4. Spend an afternoon with the cooks of yesteryear, Schlesinger Library. When a home cook walks into the Schlesinger Library at Radcliffe College, it's like finding a thousand kitchen secrets all at once. About 20% of the library's books are about cooking. This includes old cookbooks, old food journals, and funny commercial food pamphlets. The first cookbook, written by a woman, was published in 1679, and Julia Child's personal papers were also found. Number 3. Find street art under an overpass, Underground at Ink Block. The Underground at Ink Block is the city's latest successful attempt to bring new life to an old space. It is tucked away under a tangle of South End and South Boston overpasses. The eight acre park has bike paths, boardwalks, a dog park, and more than 150,000 square feet of murals painted by artists from Boston, Los Angeles, New York, and Puerto Rico. Number 2. Gawk at the city skyline for free. Observation Deck at Independence Wharf The observation deck on the 14th floor of Independence Wharf is kind of hidden, but it has great views of the harbor and the buildings around it. When you're done taking in your surroundings, settle down at one of the good restaurants in the seaport area. Number 1. Visit the most beautiful building in Boston you never knew existed. The Boston Athenaeum is one of the oldest independent libraries in the country. It has a collection of more than 500,000 books, from books written in the 1800s to the newest books. Even though the Athenum is a private library that only members can use, 
you can buy a day pass for $40. With a day pass, visitors can use all the parts of the Boston Athenum that members can use. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.